Okay, so for Silo 2021.5, we've added SVG import. And the way it works is um, it's just along with the other regular 3D file imports. So you just do open scene or load into scene and choose an F SVG file. And it will open it and attempt to turn it into geometry. Um, you can see here the options. These are in the uh, file open scene options, or you can go to file format settings and then choose SVG from the list. And we've got options here. I've got attempt to fill shapes on. So it filled the, it filled the filled shapes with polygons. And um, there are some cases where that may not work perfectly. You can see here on the flame that it had a small issue, but we'll fix that in a second. Um, but uh, you may run into issues with more complicated SVG shapes of this not always working, which is why we made it optional. Uh, combined shapes will uh, import all of these and turn them into a single shape. The extrusion height, here I've got it set to 1, so it extruded it. If you set this to 0, it won't do an extrusion at all. Uh, the layer offset, I'll show you in a second what that does, but basically each layer is uh, slightly is loaded at a slightly different offset from the others. Um, import scale, if it's loading at a wrong size, you can just change that. Uh, curve segments, that's how smooth it will be between each control point on the curve. So if it's not looking smooth enough, just turn curve segments up. So you can see this came in almost perfectly. Um, anytime you've got a single face with this many vertices on it, you may run into issues where it won't uh, render quite correctly. So the quick way to, do, to fix that um, is just to do a cut across it and then to unify the normals on the object like uh, this unify normals and then that's all good um, I'll open up another example here uh, let me just clear this out this one I prepared before and this one shows you what the layer offset does this is with this 0.01 layer offset um, you can see here that it actually loaded in each of these layers at a slightly different height from the others, which can be very handy if you've got, um, a little bit more complex of a scene going on and, you know, you may need to correct some things, but it, it's, uh, it can be a useful starting point for your, getting your scene to look the way you had envisioned it when you made the SVG file. So that's it, SVG in 2021.5. We think it's pretty useful. We're curious to see all the things you do with it. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments and thanks for watching.